Hey FBK, it's Mario Machado, high school senior, and I just um, am here today with a little devotional. Two weeks ago, Matt asked me if I was interested in making one, and in confidence, I said yes. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about, and um, a lot of things God has really shown me the last month or so um, since we've been in quarantine. So right now, I know it's a very difficult time for a lot of us students, especially, especially um, as high school seniors. Right now, we're missing on out on a lot of things that were important to us. Um, I've missed my senior high school wrestling banquet, which I was really looking forward to. A lot of us just missed out on our proms, and potentially we're, we might miss out on a traditional graduation ceremony. And though it's really easy to think about how much we're going to miss those things and how upset we are that those things aren't going to happen. I think it's very important to look at the blessings that are coming out of this situation. I know it's a very tough situation for most. A lot of people's homes lives are very different depending on their parents line of work. But um, I think it it's important to try to find those blessings in this time. So right now for me, I've found out that um because of this newfound time I have at home and because of my some my parents' time at home, I've gone to spend a lot of free time with my family, or at least my parents, that I would not have if I was still at school and going through my daily routine. And um, it's something I'm really taking advantage of and I'm thankful for and I'm blessed to have because if it wasn't for that, I would have graduated school, gone to had fun in the summer, and then I wouldn't have had the type of time with my parents that I'm getting now. So I'm really getting to spend time with my parents before I go off to college in the fall. And I am very thankful that I've been blessed with this opportunity and the chance to. So um, it's really about finding the, the blessings and the positive aspects of the situation. Um, a line from a Hillsong song, Through It All, and one of my favorite um, motivational lines, I'm not sure where it is in scripture, but um, it goes, I thank God for the mountains and I thank him for the valleys. And what that means to me is that no matter where I'm at in life, whether at my highest point in life, where I'm at my mountain, where I'm feeling the best, or whether I'm at my lowest low in the valley, God is good and I'm thankful and I am blessed no matter what. And um, that's something I'm very, that I think about every day during quarantine is whether I'm having the best day, the worst day whether I'm feeling cramped at home or I'm getting to spend time with my family, I just know that he is good and I am thankful no matter what. And um, quick verse I want to go into. Um, coincidentally, it was the verse of the day. It is Matthew 19.26. And Matthew 19.26 is, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And um, I think it's crazy that was the, first of the day today because um we can think that we can handle this quarantine and this lockdown and the challenges that come because of it by ourselves but unless we um walk with God throughout this whole situation and crisis we're never going to get out of it the way we want to the only way to get out of it um successfully is going to be with God and with Christ so um I think it's important that we um, anchor ourselves in the word and our Lord and just put all this worry and stress and burden on him because that's that's what he wants us to do. Um, another verse um, kind of around those lines, Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. And that just back to what? I just referenced, if we just put all of our worry onto Christ, he's going to get us through the situation. He will get us through our valley, and he'll walk with us to the mountain, and he'll be with us when we go back into the valley. And that's a little bit just what I want to talk about today, is really just understanding that there's going to be mountains and valleys out of this situation, but no matter what, we should be thankful for them, and we should um, just know that there are blessings that are going to come out of the situation, and that um, 
we just gotta put just put our worries to Christ and be thankful for him. So um, I'm gonna exit us out in prayer and I hope that all kind of made sense. So I'll just quickly say a prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for giving me this opportunity to do a devotional with the BK students. I wanna thank Matt for asking me. Um, I just thank you for all that you put on my heart recently, Lord. I know all of this is happening for a reason. I know there it's a very tough situation and a lot of people are struggling and hurting out there, but I ask, Lord, that you just ease their hearts and heal them and just be with them, walk with them through this valley. And Lord, I just ask that you um, help them to see the blessings out of the situation. It's very easy to just think about how bad the situation is, but Lord, I know there's blessings to be coming out of this. And I just ask that you um, open people's eyes to see those blessings and you just continue to do your good work, Lord. And I just ask that you are with the FBK students throughout the rest of this week as some of them are finishing school, as the seniors are finishing their last week of school. And I just ask that you continue to walk with us through our lives, Lord. And I just ask that you bless the rest of our day and bless whatever we're doing this week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That's about it for me, guys, but I hope you guys are all doing well and I miss you guys. And um, yep, that's about it. Have a nice, have a nice week, guys.